Big. The problem is, you are like, let's say you you're planning on doing that, and now you have this this all these capital gains already, and like you have millions. Now you want to move to Puerto Rico. All of those that you have made on the mainland are subject to the U.S. Internal Revenue Service taxing. Mm-hmm. It's not until you get there and you get a, an attorney and then you actually sign all the paperwork and then you you um, you identify your public addresses for your wallets. And then you start there. So you, you, all that stuff that came prior is subject to the, the United States mainland. Nice wow. thing about the, um, if you do a full-time residency in Puerto Rico, you don't have to give up your U.S. citizenship, which is good. You can't vote in the federal election. Um, but you don't, if you don't have any sources of income or anything outside of the U.S., outside of Puerto Rico, excuse me, then you don't even have to file a U.S. income tax return. You don't have to file that 1040. You just file the Puerto Rican government tax return. Mm. Oh, wow. So, Interesting. Hey, yeah. smart move, man. Yeah. yeah. Logan Paul, <laughs> Luke Belmar. Well, yeah. They're like, you know, they're, they're, yeah, there's like some big, big time uh, money there. So it's done really well um, for a lot of people. But again, that's a, it's been gentrified. So there's this pull on the island where, you know, now it, once you get an area gentrified, it jacks up the real estate prices. So a lot of people in the mainland, they're going to Orlando because they can't afford to live there and buy a property anymore. So it's becoming, you know, something like a, maybe like a Hawaii or something like that. So there's kind of that, that political uprising in there um, okay. about that. So, but 